This exercise is about an ideal op amp, an input voltage source, several resistors, and we are to compute two things. What is the output voltage V0 of the whole setup, and what is the output current of the op amp I0? We begin by choosing nodes. The reference node has been chosen for us down here. We identify nodes O1, 2, and three, and of course the output node for which we will not be writing a KCL equation, the output node. The branch current directions have been chosen arbitrarily. We begin asking the question, is there a negative feedback? Yes, there is. There is a resistor between the output node and the inverting node. You see this A kilom resistor, there is negative feedback, so we write a negative feedback equation NF, which is VP equals to VN. V2 is equal to V3. That is a negative feedback equation. And we're ready. Let's write KCL equations for nodes 1, 2, and 3. In all these, let's not forget that the input current to an ideal pump is 0. So the current in this little segment is 0 amps. The current in this input segment to the inverting input is also 0. So KCL for node 1, current going in, Vs minus V1 over 8 kilo ohms. Uh, that is this term here, Vs minus V1 over 8 kilo ohms, that is equal to the three currents leaving the node, which is V1 minus V0 over R. V1 minus V0 over R. And uh, this one here, V1 over 4 kilo ohms. V1 over 4 kilo ohms. And last, V1 minus V2 over 6 kilo ohms, which is this term on the far right. KCL for no two, only two terms. Remember this current entering the ideal of pump is zero. Input current V1 minus V2 over 6 kilo ohms down here equals to the current leaving the node, which is V2 over, f over what? Not 4, over 6 kilo ohms. And KCL for no three, only two currents. Again, the input current to the ideal of pump is zero. V0 minus V3 over 8 kilo ohms, that is the input current, the current entering the node 3 equals to current leaving the node, which is V3 over 4 kilo ohms. Solve those four equations and you will find V0, V1, and V3. And of course V2, but we will not need V2. All of those I have written in terms of alpha, where alpha is VSR, divided by 11 times R minus 12,000. V1 is 3 times alpha. V3 is 3 over 2 alpha. And V0 is 9 over 2 alpha. If we substitute R by 3 kilo ohms, the value of the voltage source Vs, 3 volts, we obtain that the output voltage is 1.928 volts. Let's compute now the output current to the op-amp. That current we observe here is the sum of three currents, the current in the bottom branch here, the current in the load resistor, and the current flowing from not to the node one. You say, hey, but I've chosen that current flowing the other way. It doesn't matter. This is the negative of that current. That current was V1 minus V0 over R, and we will be computing V0 minus V1 over R, which is the negative of that current. So we say I0 is the sum of three currents down here. V0 over 8 kilo ohms, that is the current in the load resistor. V0 minus V3 over 8 kilo ohms, that is the current in the lower branch, the feedback branch. And V0 minus V1 over R, V0 minus V1 over R, we add them up and we get 616.1 microamperes. And that is the solution to this exercise. Thank you very much. Thank you.